Now that we have successfully connected MetaMask and fetched an account address in our web app, let's initiate a Web3 object now. Since we are using client-side JavaScript and that to plain vanilla JavaScript, the only way to import Web3 is through CDN. Or you can directly download Web3 as a JavaScript file and include it in HTML as a script. If you are using modular JavaScript or any other front-end framework, you can install Web3 as a NPM module and import Web3 in the JavaScript. Now that in index.html file, we can add Web3 as a script from Cloudflare CDN and that too in the head tag. Link for this CDN is given in the description. As we are using Vanilla.js, we need to make sure to add this Web3 script before app.js script. Otherwise, while accessing the Web3 in app.js, it will throw an error that the Web3 is not found. Now in the app.js file, after fetching the account address, we can declare the Web3 object. It takes the provider as an argument. Here we are using MetaMask as a provider and we will be passing window.ethereum directly. Or you can use any one of the providers that we have already discussed in our first tutorial. Let's console this Web3 object. Let's go back to our browser and refresh the page. And in the console, as you can see that the Web3 is loaded successfully. Next is to deploy the bank smart contract. We will use Remix ID to deploy our smart contracts on the Robston test network. The usual way to test the smart contracts is by using Ganache and Truffle. But since this is the beginner's guide, we will be using public testnet and remix to deploy our smart contract. While deploying our smart contract, we need some test ethers in our account in order to pay the gas fees. To get this test ethers, head over to the Robston faucet and paste your account address here and press the button. You will get test ethers in the account. Now back to the remix ID. Let's compile the contract and in the deploy and run transaction section, select injected web3 as an environment. It will ask permission for MetaMask to connect with Remix. As you can see here, Remix is now connected with the Robston network and you can also see the account from MetaMask wallet. Our MetaMask wallet was already connected with Remix. So let's disconnect it and refresh the browser. Now you can see that the remix is asking for permission. Now let's compile and deploy smart contract again. And as you can see the smart contract is going to be deployed on Robston test network. Let's hit confirm and wait for the transaction to get confirmed. So the transaction is confirmed now and you can check it on Robston Etherscan as well. This is the Robston Etherscan. Let's get back to the remix. And here we have got the deployed smart contract functions interface. You can copy the smart contract ABI from compile section and paste it in your app.js as contract ABI variable. To get the deployed smart contracts address, you can directly go to the deploy and run transaction section in the remix and copy the deployed contract address from here. Otherwise, you can also copy the address from Robston Etherscan. After successfully copying the smart contract ABI and address, paste it in the app.js file. Now we have both the ABI and the deployed contract address. With this, we can get the contract instance and interact with the smart contract using Web3, which we have initialized earlier.